most requested tutorial ever, the scoreboard command. All we're doing is assigning our names with a number under an objective. The objective being the scoreboard objective. So, let me explain a little bit. First of all, we are going to add what's called a dummy objective. Scoreboard objectives add the name of the objective, test, and dummy. Dummy just means it can only be changed with command blocks. Let's add that in. But wait, I can't see anything, so we are going to set the display on the sidebar, which basically means we will see all the numbers on the right hand side of the screen. So let's press this button here and that will set the display on the sidebar. I still don't see anything though, that's because we haven't actually given ourselves any of the numbers. So this command block here is adding our score at P test 5. So basically, our test score is going to increase by 5. If we right click this again, it goes up to 10, and then again, 15, 20, and then 25, and so on. However, if we change this number to a 3, and press the button, it goes up to 28, 31, it goes up in increments of 3. If, however, we have an armor stand on top of here, and we change the selector to at a type equals armor stand, C equals 1, it will increase its test score by 3. Let's move on. Here we have a set parameter. Scoreboard players set at P test to 10, which means no matter what my score is, it's always going to go back to 10. So now it's 10, goes to 10. If we go back here, and change our score to 3. If we press this command, it's just going to go back to 10 no matter what. And then finally we have the same thing as adding except we are removing. So this is removing our score by 10 every time. If you ever want to stop seeing this on the sidebar, just type in the command. Scoreboard objectives set display sidebar and that will basically clear it up. If you want to actually have a custom name associated with the objective you add, let's go scoreboard objectives add uh, test1 and let's go dummy. If we just type in a sentence like this is a test afterwards and then we go scoreboard objectives set display sidebar test1 and then scoreboard players set at p test one to zero, as you can see, the sidebar score has changed to this is a test. Also, if we go scoreboard objectives list on the side, you will see all the scoreboards that have been added to the game. You can remove any of these just by typing in the command scoreboard objectives remove, for example, test one. And as you can see, the score will get entirely removed. And if I try and give myself a score, scoreboard players set at P test 1 to 0, it's going to say that the objective was not found and nothing will happen. So that's all I wanted to say this episode. Please play around with the basics of the scoreboard because next episode is going to be a little bit more in depth about the scoreboards. So play around with that. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Hey look, another channel update. So what's this one about? Well, I'm trying to quit my job because working six to seven days a week isn't fun. It doesn't allow me to work on the channel very often. That's why I haven't been uploading, by the way, is because I'm just so busy with my job. Actually, as I'm recording this, I am about to go to work, so I won't be able to release this for the next three days, maybe, because I have to do the you know, editing and recording and stuff. So anyway, you can now commission me to do work for you. So I can offer command block tutorials, I can make you music, I can make you resource packs, and I can advertise your server. Those are the main things I do. I can do other things. Maybe if you like something, then maybe tell me about it. I'm not really sure what else I can do. But if you're interested, go to this website. And then to contact me, click this text, and it will redirect you to a private Discord chat where you can talk to me. Now, I only want people who are actually interested in commissions to come here. Um, otherwise, you can talk to me over Twitter and comment in my YouTube. But yeah, I just thought I'd put this out there that this this exists basically and it will be cool if you guys checked it out. My goals for the next three years is to quit one of my jobs entirely. This year it's just about reducing the amount of hours I have to work uh, so I can work on the things I want to work on and 
give you guys the content that you've been begging me for for the last couple of months um, and I feel really bad that I haven't been able to find the time to do that. So here's to a better channel. So thanks everyone for watching. See you later.